Hello and welcome to another video. I'm out with none other than Joey Von D and there's an elephant in the room with regards to his hair. Has he had it cut? <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Who is he? We've come out foraging, we've packed the van for an overnight camp somewhere we don't know where. We've stopped off in this woodland to have a little look for some mushrooms and we're gonna see what we can find. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're gonna find some seps. That's the main, that's the main quarry for today. And if we do, when we do, get a fire going, do a bit of a cook up and, uh, and spend the night, maybe have a beer, who knows. Yeah, I've not been out with Joey D for some time, so this is good, this is good. And it is a glorious day with glorious scenery. Let's see if we can find some seps. Stick around. Right, there's a robin on there, you can't see him because he's camouflaged, but we've got a robin. As soon as we started finding some good mushrooms, young Robert came out for us. Are we having it? No. No, I'll leave it. Sure. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That is a bulbous affair, isn't it? I'll take a bit. Of, try not to get too much of flesh off, but back in there. Look at him. <laughs> There's a lot of meat on that, there's a lot of food in there. Such a beautiful nutty smell to it. We'll add that with the rest of them. We're gonna have a feast. <laughs> Bunny. Pristine, man. This is good, man. This is some good foraging. Fargon, isn't it? Fargon. How thick it is. Beast mode. That's where it was pushing up against the tree, look, trying to lift it. Nature rules.
There's Joe D, look, with new haircut. There he is. <laughs> now look at these. Seps, man. Penny buns. Porcinis. They have a few different names, but we've got a few of them. We've got some parasols, some amethyst deceivers. A decent haul and some specimens like that that are just textbook. Where's the other one? He's a, he's a good lad. Lovely. So cook these up. Keep it simple so we can keep the flavour of them and just cook them simply in the um, in the cast iron with some with some steak and have a bit of red wine. These at digs, we're keeping it simple. Just 3B3 DB, D, um, DD tarp, pegged into the ground and then pegged off so that water can run off if it, if it rains, it's not forecast to. And then Joe's got his Coleman fly sheet just as a, like just to lie on really. And I'm just going straight onto Thermarest. And I've got my winter bag, which is the Rabascent 900 and the Alpkit Hunker XL over the top of it with my uh, Trekology pillow as usual. Joe's got the Alpkit Cloud Peak maybe, 400, 600. Did they do it like that? Joe's got a red sleeping bag. <laughs> from Alpkit. Quite, quite old now. Joe's got an old red sleeping bag from Alp Kit. And that's it. That'll do, yeah. That's all you need, innit? Yeah, lovely location. What quick spin round. I think this is gonna be just a chilled one. I will let you love, uh, have a look at us cooking up these mushrooms. Um, and we're just gonna cook them so simply. It would have been good to have a bit of butter uh, to go with them, but we've got some garlic, a great bit of coconut oil. We can make it work. And that's what it's about. And we've got the cast iron so we can get it nice and hot. Sear the steak, maybe cook it in the fat of the steak. And then we've got some eggs for the morning because we've got so many mushrooms, we can have mushrooms and eggs in the morning as well. I'll let you have a look at the cooking, but that'll be that. <laughs> Might do a little Q&A, but there's no beers, no beer reviews. There is a bit of wine. We'll see how we feel. We'll see how we feel. This one's more about just chilling with me boy because we've not been out for a long time. So I'll try and I'll try get something together for you anyway. Here we are. Eee. Right. Small child. You look like a small boy. Here he is, my little boy. With his new haircut. My little boy. First day at school. I'm here with Joey D. That's me. And we've got some questions from the patrons and we're going to do our best to get through them and answer them. We're going to just get into it. How are you anyway, mate? Are you good? Yeah. How, how are you doing and that? Doing pretty good, mate, yeah. Mentally okay? Mentally all right, yeah. Mentally pretty stable. Mentally stable. So it's not like the hair hasn't been... Who was that famous? It wasn't famous? my superpower, no. Samson. Samson. Yeah, it wasn't. Well, I don't think it was my superpower. You should see him jump now. He's like a salmon. I'm really, I'm really quick because uh, obviously so less quick. drag. Honestly, and I don't know if I said it on other thing, but picked him up from train station. He's normally like pe picking up an army vet who's been like <laughs> discharged for losing his mind. But this time he came down, he had the Patagonia top on and new haircut. I was like, who's this? Have you won the lotto, lad? New man. Like... new man. New man, new me. We're all feeling good, aren't new we? New chapter. It's, hey, I, can't, I couldn't agree more about being a new chapter. I am in the best place, mentally, physically, and everything that I've been in in a long time. So It's good to hear, mate. Yeah, it's good times. It's good times, so cheers. To everyone at home, I hope everyone is doing well with their own personal battles and I hope you're still all fighting the good fight. Much love to everyone out there. Right, should we get straight into it then, Joseph, so that we can then retire back? Our, our camp is back there, we've got a lovely little setup, yep. and we're just going to retire back there into the darkness. Get fire on. Get fire on and uh, do what you do when it comes to autumn, which we're that, looking forward that's to. That's time of year, isn't it? Whoa. We're going to yep. need it later because it's pretty clear tonight. You're going to be, be quite quite cool yeah full moon it's clear sky so it will be cool you're gonna need a coat on at some point during this <laughs> yeah because you can't yeah well we'll see won't it we? must be neck must be cold we'll see and shoulders and lugs because uh, anyway 
Let's get straight into it from the lovely people over at Patreon. Right, the gas man. Do you, do you have any mischievous stories from your youth? Question mark. Nothing too sinister. For example, as a child, me and a few friends used to climb into neighbour's garden, steal apples from his tree, then use the apples to throw at his windows. What have you got for me? I'm sure you were a little shit as a child. It's a bit presumptuous, isn't it? I mean, it's accurate, but very presumptuous. Were you a little shit? I wasn't, mate. Was I? I would imagine so, yeah. You knew me. Not, not as a little child. Well, how little, yeah. Yeah, how little. As a little child. Uh, yeah, I was a bit of a... Uh, a uh, uh, a bit naughty, maybe just just doing stuff for shits and giggles, you know. Same as you, mate. Just like yeah. we use garden hopping and you know, stuff like that. Stephen Jones, question for Joey von Bramblebont. That's me. <laughs> as a teacher, how more, by the way? What what what's just my new normal name? Bont. Well, no, yeah. Well, we'll have to come up with a new nickname. It is kind of still Bramblehead, isn't it? Oh, okay. <laughs> so just Bramblehead. Question: uh, As a teacher, how would you cope with a young Paul Hayes in class? <laughs> <laughs> Detention. <gasps> I don't. I, I don't. I wouldn't have uh, responded well to that. <laughs> no, I'd have taken him under my wing. Would you? Uh, yeah. Uh, do you know what that would have done me good? Because yeah. I remember Mr. Knowles at primary school, one of the only teachers that I ever really liked. Yeah. And any time I was naughty, he would turn it into. Like I remember flicking laggy bands at someone. Uh, and then he, t- he took me out into the corridor on my own and made a game of like trajectory and seeing how far I could get him. And like, <laughs> I think it was just to get me out of class, but I thought yeah. he was like, oh, he's making me a, like learn. Yeah. And then when I broke my arm, I fell off a bridge once and broke my arm at school. And uh, he came to hospital to visit me. Oh, that's nice. And I was like, and it, rem- I, it stuck in my mind forever. Yeah. More so than the teachers that were shit. Yeah, yeah. So you'd take me under your wing, would you? Mm take you home take me home for a few glasses of wine and that that's not appropriate mate <laughs> wine and dine me that's not appropriate is it <laughs> I'll take you out to I'll take you out to Cafe Room <laughs> that's out of order <laughs> I am in that <laughs> I am having that <laughs> right thanks Rachel Gillis again she just drop, keeps dropping in she loves it and we love her here's a question for Mr Joseph D Baggins can he quite believe just how popular, successful, and loved his idiot mate Hazy has become? Did he? <laughs> so it's not really about me. Did he think this was inevitable, or is this a total mystery and surprise? Um, probably inevitable, isn't it? <laughs> because of the charisma. I mean, he's he's got some bants. He's always had some bants, you know, from way back in the day. So, yeah, yeah, bants. Um, I mean, is it a surprise? I'd, I don't, I don't know. He's grafted for it. There you go. To get where he is, you know. And yeah. So I mean, I'm a bit biased because he's my mate. So you're saying good. You're saying I've grafted for it, and back in the day I had bants. Yeah. I'm not that surprised, mate. Yeah, that's what we wanted to hear. He's not surprised that I've got bants. Thanks, mate. There you go. Ben Huggins, hi Hazel Nut and Joey Von Did <laughs> Joey Von Dittle Tits. <laughs> I love it. How do you select where you wild camp? Question mark. I live in the US and find it really hard to get away to our national forests. What do you look for when selecting a place to do a night or two of bushcraft on lands that aren't exactly legal for overnighters? Keep it up, guys. Much respect. Well, we've done it here today. Like we just, it, it's a feeling more than out, isn't it? Yeah. So you'll have a little look on Google Earth or you'll know a, a, a mass area of woodland that you can maybe park up and get into. And that's your first thing. And then, obviously, it is illegal, so be, do it with caution. Pitch, pitch late, leave early, leave no trace, all that. But then, it, it, as we were looking today, it just it's more of a vibe. It's more of a feeling than anything else. You have to have your practical things, like maybe water or a bit of a clearing if it's a night sky and, and all these little things. But for me, it's more of a feeling. Mm. Of like, do you want to spend the night here? Yeah, yeah. Often it's sort of like you you have a you sort of pick places that you want to spend the night, don't you? And you're like, yeah, I, I'd like to stay there. And then sometimes it's just that's you know it's like where's the most practical place to stay when we're doing such and such. I think know? we've honed it together pretty well. Like we sort of know we've linked our synergy. We like we've synced our periods, haven't we? Yeah. 
So we know that we need a good backrest apiece. We need a good place to fit fire. Yeah. We sort of know each other's vibe. And we often dismiss quite a lot of options. Yeah. Particularly in a new spot. Yeah. To to find that perfect one. Yeah, yeah. We'll 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 t- we try them out, right? Yeah, we'll sit down in a place and be like, right, is it, are you feeling it? Yeah. We're like, ah, we're like, ah, is this good for you? And we're like, no, no, I don't know. Um, and you just don't sometimes, and then that's good. Like, that's just a good enough indication to move on, isn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, even just today, we've sat and chilled in maybe three places yep. before settling on this. And the first place we were chilling was like, nah, it's not right. There's something not right, bounce. Because you're going to spend all night there, aren't you? So, <clears throat> and it's, you know, you want to create their memories. So. Worth having a look, worth waiting till you. I mean, one man's glorious campsite might be another man's shit tip. Mm. So, do what works for you. Patrick, hiya gents. If a genie granted you a bushcraft or camping weekend anywhere in the world, where would you choose and what would you bring to drink? Cheers. From Arizona. Shout out Arizona. Arizona. Japan. Japan. Why not? Hartlepool. That's a good one. <laughs> nah. Go we're going to Japan and we're drinking sake. Oh, can you imagine? In the woods of Japan, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Is that that can do you in? I don't think they do. They might have. Bears, maybe. Yeah, but they're not massive. They're only like little. Not grizzlies. They're only little, like. Yeah. Yeah, we're off to Japan. Apparently, we're off to Japan. Oh, we're drinking sake. Yeah. Yeah. Did you say that already? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to Japan drinking sake. Woo, woo, woo. I'm in Amok. What are you in? Amok, yeah. Got to be Amok. It's going to look cool as, isn't it? Yeah. A bonsai, like a little. But a big bonsai. A big bonsai. You know, like. All oh, right, I imagine, a, yeah, like stringing up on a bonsai. Yeah. <laughs> Two millimetres off ground. Yeah. No, but a big bonsai tree. Yeah. You know, like a, basically a tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's because it's getting dark. We had another hour in us, didn't we? Super dark, innit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you didn't have any, you ain't got another five minutes in you, you. Right. It's gone. It's gone and got a bit dark. So we were doing a, we were doing a bit of a podcast. So it's got a bit dark. Um, so we're not being able to collect much for a, a fire. Luckily, I've got this chunk of fat wood. So what you want to do? Get some curls. Really bite in on a few of them though, so they get a bit thicker, <coughs> and they'll burn for longer. Set the main bit on fire. Just so we can get a few of our twigs going. There we go. And then I've got a lighter in here somewhere. Any port in a storm, it's just what you've got on you. And there you go, look. Simple as that. And let's add a few of these bits of dead pine that were hanging in trees so it's nice and dry. It'll do, it'll do. And don't worry, like a lot of people, you know, and me included, I don't like to use lighters very much, but sometimes that's what you've got on you. And sometimes it's the quickest way. We're not all just going to be always carrying fire steels with us, are we? So I think using lighters from time to time <coughs> is good practice. We've stacked it at the back here. So we'll get the initial fire going and it'll gradually dry out the things that we're going to then move forward onto it. by a third already you can hear all the moisture coming out of them because they do hold a lot of moisture and what you want to do is cook them to release all the moisture and then wait till the moisture evaporates and then you, and then they're done smash it crush it do whatever you want leave skins on it doesn't matter you just want because you want that flavor Look at that. 
So there you go. You don't get better than that. Right. Oh my God. Is it good? Incredible. Incredible. Straight in with a huge bit of sep, look. Porcini. Mmm. It's a moon. Oh my God, that's so good. Mmm. <laughs> it's so meaty. Mmm. So moist. Fresh. Oh my God, that's delightful. It's a full moon tonight as well, so the moon's just poking its head out of the trees. Mmm. <laughs> you having it? You're being quite tell. Mm. Oh, Thoughts? They're like sweet, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. There is a sweetness, mushroominess. The texture is unreal as well. And then you've got your steak. Can't be able to show you because it doesn't focus. Mm. What better? Mushrooms and steak mm. by the fire. And these things were growing in the ground just a matter of hours ago. We're just going to finish our tea and then sit, stoke this fire back up and chill. That wood to the rescue again. Glorious, glorious, love you all, bye bye.